I'd like to take a moment to read a portion of a speech given by Benjamin Franklin in September 1787 on the last day of the Constitutional Congress where they ratified the Constitution of the United States of America. It says, Because I think a general government necessary for us, and there is no form of government but what may be a blessing upon the people if well administered, and believe farther that it is likely to be well administered for a course of years, and can only end in despotism, as other forms have done before it. When the people shall become so corrupted as to need despotic government, being incapable of any other, I doubt to whether any other convention can obtain may be able to make a better constitution. For when you assemble a number of men who have had the advantage of their joint wisdom, you inevitably assemble with those men all their prejudices, their passions, their errors of opinion, their local interests, and their selfish views. From such an assembly can perfect production be expected? It therefore astonishes me, sir, to find this system approaching so near perfection as it does. He goes on to say, Much of the strength and efficiency of any government in procuring and securing happiness to the people depends upon opinion, on the opinion on the general opinion of the goodness of the government as well as the opinion of the wisdom and integrity of its governors. Now at this moment, a lot of us don't have a very high opinion of the goodness of our government or the wisdom and integrity of our governors. But there are also a lot of us who have become corrupted and needing of this despotic government and that's what they're getting and it's being forced upon the rest of us if a dictator is what you want a dictator is what you will get and my question to you people is do you want a dictator personally I don't I would prefer we go back to a representative government as as it was intended in the beginning, in September of 1787.